Connecticut Valley that you can see behind me had its origin with a major event in the history of the Earth that happened over 200 million years ago during the Mesozoic era. At that time, North America was part of a large supercontinent called Pangaea, consisting of North America, South America, Africa, and Europe. They were all together. About 200 million years ago, the mantle of the Earth, hot, plastic, not liquid, rose up and bowed the continent, making a sort of arch in the central part of Pangaea. The continent then started to pull apart, forming a rift valley. If you imagine an arch made of stone and you started to pull it apart, the keystone would drop down. That's exactly what happened here. Our valley was the keystone of that part of Pangaea that dropped down. Being low, streams flowed into it and filled it in with sand and gravel and mud, the same mud that the dinosaurs left their footprints in. We know this happened because we can find rift valleys like this one up and down the east coast of North America and along the west coast of Africa and Europe. Those rift valleys have similar sandstones and lava flows and footprints of dinosaurs. We know that the continents pulled apart. In fact, they're still pulling apart today because we can measure it with a global positioning system. We can measure the location of the continents to millimeters and see that Africa is moving away from North America at the rate of about two and a half centimeters a year. If you do the math, Africa is about 5,000 kilometers away from North America today. Two and a half centimeters for 200 million years adds up to 5,000 kilometers. The rifting is still happening, but the rift is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The valley that we have today developed in the same location as that ancient rift valley. It wasn't a valley for the 200 million years. It filled in with all that sand and, and gravel and lava flows. But more recently, New England has been eroding. It's been uplifted a bit and eroding. The sand, sandstones, mudstones of the valley erode more rapidly than the metamorphic rocks that you can find on the west and east parts of the valley. So the valley has reformed in that place because of the event 200 million years ago.